All right, Mike, thank you very much for the session. So, um, and if you have any questions or anything throughout, mm -hmm. feel free to ask or interrupt. This is just a video for you, so uh, right. no big deal. So well, first, thanks for coming for the first yep. few sessions. Just want to kind of summarize what we worked on today and mm -hmm. so you have it in one place. So if you get a chance to go to the range before I next see you, yeah. um, you can even review it and keep that in mind. So, mm -hmm. um, first, a lot of good things going on with your golf swing. I can tell why you're a pretty steady golfer, generally mm -hmm. speaking, and relatively consistent. Uh, but the things that you mentioned that we that you were seeking improvement on, mm -hmm. a little bit of distance, right? Yeah. And maybe just a little bit of um, overall um, uh, pop to your shots, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we took a look at a few of your swings, and we kind of identified most of the reasons that I think that's happening, mm -hmm. right? So um, as you know, we talked about throughout about how your first initiation with your downswing is kind of two things. One, mm -hmm. taking your lead shoulder, meaning your right shoulder, and kind of spinning it out early. Mm -hmm. And that has that impact of those hands moving outward quite a bit, the club getting a little bit over. And so to compensate for you, your body then slows down a little bit, stops moving to kind of reshallow the club, and then mostly uses your hands and arms to fire through the shot. Right? Mm -hmm. So we talked a lot about how we can work at that. A uh, couple of the thoughts that we gave you that seemed to have some impact were feeling like your downswing, that lead shoulder is gonna stay in place there a lot longer. Let those hands get a little bit further behind you here, and then that'll allow you quite a bit of room to swing on through. Um, the other thing that we talked about here was maybe working a little bit, and really it's a, just another way of thinking about the same thing, but from the top, feeling like our spine angle is gonna mm -hmm. tilt backwards this way, rather than if we think about as our shoulder fired forward, it would start tilting this way yeah. too much, right? Um, and all those things will allow you to kind of stay in the shot longer and then fire through on the way there. So, mm -hmm. um, thanks for the first session. Any questions or anything? No, I think this gives me plenty to do some, I'll grab out my heavy club, grab my pitching wedge, Absolutely. and just do this down in the basement where sure. I'm coming back to base. The back swing, yeah, yeah. 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 Things to refine. Like something right? later, but yeah. for now, it's like kind of leave all of that alone, leave the grip alone, yeah. get back there, that little pause, make sure the hips fire. Shallow and club. between, hold, try and hold the shoulder or tip the spine, whichever one works exactly. best, whichever one seems to do it. Gets the result that we're looking for, keeps yep. those hands in behind a little more, and then fire on through. And I think we'll we'll start to experience you feeling more freedom through the ball. Yeah. And that's gonna help create that pop that we're looking yep. for long term. So yep. thanks cool. again for the session. Give you your loaner back. All right.